So this is CoCode. In this video, we will see how we can approach this problem named as rotated sorted array search. So the problem statement is given an array of integers a of size n and an integer b. Array a is rotated at some pivot unknown to you beforehand and, and you are given a target value b to search. If we found the target in the array then we have to return the index otherwise we have to return the minus one and we can assume that there is no duplicate exist in the array and there is one note that array was sorted in non-decreasing order before rotation so the problem is initially we have some array which is in increasing order let's say we have and then this array is rotated with at some pivot which is unknown let's say the array is rotated about this position then the final array will become this and then we have to find a number k which is present in this final array or not let's say if k is 5 then this 5 is present here so we have to return this in the index of this 5 so the index of 5 is 0 so we will return 0 uh, let's say if the k is 100 since 100 is not present in this final array, then we have to return the minus 1. Now let's see how we can approach this problem. The brute force approach to solve this problem is we will iterate over all the array and check whether the element is equal to k or not. If it is, then we will return the index of that element. But the complexity of this brute force approach is big O of n because we are iterating over all the array. So now let's see. Can we do better than this or not? Suppose this is the initial array before rotation and this array is rotated about the element 9. Then the final array will become this. Now if we observe this array, then we can say that this part of the array is in increasing order and this part of the array is also is in increasing order. So we can say that so we can easily separate this array in two parts using this line. Now let's suppose this line represents a number line. So if we plot these elements, then we can say that the graph of these elements is always increasing. So we can plot these elements as this. And similarly, if we plot these elements, we can say that the graph of this these element is also in increasing. So we can plot this element, these element as this. Both of these graphs are increasing because the elements of these graph are in increasing order. Now if we observe, then we can say that the max element present here is always less than the min element present here. Here the max element is 8 and the min element is 9. So by this property, we can say that this graph cannot go beyond this point. So we can make a line here also. So now let's see how we can make this graph. So suppose this is our array and we want to make the graph of this array. And let's say this is the number line where all the numbers between 1 to 13 are present. So let's assume that this array as x axis and this number line as y axis. So now 9 comma 9 is present here 12 comma 12 is present here so the graph will become like this and similarly 1 comma 1 is present here 2 comma 2 is present here so this graph will also look like this and these two graphs are separated by this line because all the number here in this graph is always less than all the number present in this graph so now let's see how we can use this information. Now as we observe the data is something like increasing in order. So if data is in increasing order and we have to find some element in the data then we can always use binary search. So if we use binary search for this problem then we can solve this problem in big O of log n complexity. So let's see how we can use binary search to solve this problem. As we know for binary search we required some range to search the element. Let's say the range is in between L and R. So here L and R 
is the whole array. There are three conditions in which L and R can exist. One is our L and R will cover the range in this part. Other is our L and R cover this range. And one is our L and R will cover this range. So there are total three possibilities for L and R. One is for this range, one is for this range, and one is for whole range. Let's suppose if we know in which range we are at. Suppose if we know we are at in this range, then we can say that our data is only in increasing order. So we can use simple binary search. Uh, let's say our mid lie here, and if the number is greater than our mid, then our answer will lie in between this these element and if the number if the required number is less than the mid then our answer will lie in this range and similarly for this if we know that the range cover these element then if our mid lie here and if the required number is greater than the mid then the required number will always lie in this these element and if the required number is less than mid then the required number lie in these element because here the data is only in increasing order and for increasing order simple binary search condition will work and the third case is if a range contain these elements then there are two cases where our mid can lie first is suppose our mid element is lie in this range now let's say our required number is 10 now if the required number is less than the middle element here the middle element is something like 12 and the required number is less than the left element of the range so here the left element of the range is something like 9 then we can say that our required number will lie in this range otherwise a required number will lie either in this range or in this range so if the required number is less than a mid and required number is greater than or equal to a l then our a number will lie in between l and mid minus 1 otherwise our required number will lie in between mid plus 1 comma r and other possibility is our mid element will lie in this range so here suppose our required number k is 7 so here if the required element is greater than the mid so here the mid is something like 4 and the last element is something like 8 so if the required element is greater than mid and less than a of r then our required number will lie in this range otherwise our required number will lie in this range or in this range so for the case 2 if the required number that is k is greater than a mid and k is less than or equal to a r then we can say that our k will lie in between mid plus 1 comma r Otherwise, our k will lie bit in between l, comma, mid minus 1. If, so, there are two cases for the range. First case is our l and r lie in one of the increasing range. That is, our l, or l and r contains only either of these element or either of these element. And the case 2 is l and r contain both increasing range. That is, l and r contain both this range and this range so here this is our l and this is our r so for first case we can use simple binary search conditions and for this case we have seen there are two cases the case one is our mid lies in the left increasing element that is our mid lies here and the case two is our mid lies in the right increasing element that is our mid lies here so these are the conditions if we know where we are that is if we know in which range we are at 
so our next task is we have to find in which range we are that is range 1 or range 2 so for the case 1 we know that the elements are in increasing order so for this a of l is always less than a of r so if a of l is less than a of r then we are in either this range or either in this range that is case 1 otherwise we are in this case that is a range contain both the increasing ranges so now we know all the conditions for the binary search so now let's see how we can implement this problem so our initial range for the binary search is whole array that is l is 0 and r is n minus 1 where n is the size of the array and we do and we will do binary search till l is less than or equal to r and then we have to find the middle element and if the middle element is same as the required number we can say that we have found the required number so we will return the mid otherwise we have to check in which range we are at so if a of l is less than a of r then we can say that we are either in this range or either in this range then simple binary search condition will hold that is if number is less than a mid then the number will lie in left of the mid and if the number is greater than a mid then number will lie in right of the mid now else we are in case 2 that is our l and r contains both the ranges this and this so if mid lies in the left increasing element that is a of l is greater than a of mid then if the number required number is greater than a l and required number is less than a mid then we can say that the required number is lies in between l and mid minus 1 otherwise the required number will lies in between mid plus 1 comma r else our mid lie here then we can say that if a of mid is less than number and number is less than a r then our required number will lie in between mid plus 1 comma r otherwise the number will lie in between l comma mid minus 1 and if in the end if we doesn't find required number then we will return minus 1 so this is how we can solve this problem in big O of log n complexity the code of this problem is given in the description so let's stop here and we will meet in next video